Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you saw last video, you would know that we just got done installing a Barton short throw shifter in the car from Parker Performance, and it's been pretty nice so far, but I actually haven't been able to drive it that much because the car has a failing wheel bearing at 27,000 miles. Kind of sucks, but I'm gonna do something about it today. Before I can do anything about this, we're gonna be going over to Gavin's shop to put this car on the two post lift so that way we can work on it a little bit easier. But um, I forgot the keys to it, so we gotta go get those real quick. Oh, ain't nobody here yet. I got plenty of time to go get the car. Oh shit, well, uh, since we're here, I'll go ahead and talk about these. So a while back, Gavin got his, uh, his GT350 Lucifer. He took those wheels off, put some nice wheels on, and he sold me these wheels. I just got them back from powder coating because I wanted to put white wheels on the orange Mustang. Pretty much it. Now let's get these keys. Oh, thank God they were here. Yes. Now time to go get the Mustang. Now that we actually have the keys for Pede, we're gonna go ahead and get Zoe moved out of the way so that way we can pull the car out and go ahead and start working on it. It's time to start modifying the Mustang, finally. Let's do it. Shop. We gotta do it. We gotta do a little bit of a skirt. Let's go. Oh, you starting it? I guess. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, the 67 starting. <laughs> gonna be doing the payday today obviously you can't hide these this is gonna be the first part we're gonna talk about these are actually the stock wheels off of Lucifer that we're gonna be putting on this car I think the the black orange and white is gonna be a really good combo and um, honestly I've always wanted a set of white wheels for just any car period also we got a few goodies from our buddies over at Parker performance we actually got some really nice Ford performance hubs that actually come with ARP extended studs in them so that's gonna be pretty nice. Also got some new lug nuts for these. So funny enough, the reason that we're actually putting wheel hubs on the car is because with 27,000 miles, the car has a failing wheel bearing. If you can hear that, can you hear it? It's just enough for you to actually be able to rock the wheel back and forth. And then we're actually gonna be lowering the car for the first time since I've owned it for over a year now. So before we get started putting any of these parts on, huge thanks to Park Performance for sponsoring all of this. That's gonna be sick, I've been needing to lower the car for a while. I needed wheel hubs because obviously we have a failing bearing in the back and then the wheels are just gonna be sick. So let's get into it. I'm going in. YouTuber Danny. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Okay, we're gonna need backup. I don't wanna scratch the wheel. This needs to come over here. Yeah. I'll hold this one. I'll reset this. Yep, and come put that here so it pulls the tire down. 
Yeah, there we go. Ooh, these are going to be tight. I told you, bro. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, bro, we'll put some more lube on that. Oh my god, these are tiny right now. Yeah. Oh my god. Ooh, damn, that's hard. I'll do it again. Oh, okay. okay. It's all good. I've done this a few times. Oh, have you? Yeah. If it doesn't work out, I accept it. Sometimes things just happen. Now, the scary part is gonna be waiting for these to seat. These are definitely gonna be the smallest tires I've ever had on a car. Dooney and Gavin mount tires. Hold your ears! Your 25 profile tires are not wanting to seat. Yeah, the OEM tire size is 295, 35. <laughs> and this is a whoop. A 295, 25. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Whoa, fuck! Is that what? 50. 50? There you go, 25 profile. 50? It's a 50 PSI on a 25 fucking profile. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bro, I'm gonna, hold on, let me get behind here. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. This is the test fit. Oh God, he's covering it perfectly. It's gonna be the perfect reveal. Oh, is it some hub issue? Oh, what on earth? This is the most interesting look. <laughs> oh. This thing's gonna handle like a motherfucker with those on too. Pretty ridiculous. It is a rubber band. All right, so the others were 295 25s. They are, these are 305 30s. So they'll be a little bit friendlier. Yeah, give me that slot, boy. Oh yeah, that slippery goodness. Bah. Come on now. Get down under there. God. Ah. Ah. Come on. Do it. Ooh, I hear air coming out. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> yeah. The seems like powder coat's causing them to stick. There it goes. Yep, she's sucking down. Fuck that powder coating. We don't need that. Damn, them bitches are already dirty as shit. Damn. Let's put these rears on. Bro, this is sick as f This is gonna be dope. Oh I yes. Hope it sits a lot oh yeah, it's gonna sit lower. That's what the the springs are for. It's gonna be awesome. Wait, you know, Holy fuck, you do! You didn't know I had lowering springs for it? Uh, what? Parker help you with that? Yeah, they yeah they sponsored all that. It is crazy that that thing is driving now. Yeah, it really is. It's interesting. Like it's an actual car. Fun fact for you guys too. That's also Zoe's old radiator. Damn, that thing's sick. <laughs> oh my. We got this side. Oh my God, dude, it is so bright. Jesus, man, the fitment in the front is nice as far as the offset goes. All right, let's put it on the ground. So far, yeah. It's on the ground. It's on the ground. That's stock height. You gotta remember that is stock height. Alright, that's stock yeah, height. Stock height. It definitely needs the spring. God. 
Ooh, but it does look icy with the stickers, though. Oh, with the stickers? Yeah, you yeah. need more white stickers. Oh, snap. That's yeah. interesting. Now we just got to lower it and do the other two wheels. First, you have your wheel speed sensor. Oh, come on, get out of there. There it goes. All right, next, we got to get the caliper off. So you can just get a 15. All right, where's the hammer? Yeah, there. Yeah. Kind of shake it off a little bit. I'm gonna stick that right there. It shouldn't go anywhere. No, I am covered in brake dust. Okay, next up, take the rotor off. If you can get it off. Come on, little buddy. There we go. All right, next up, we gotta get these out. Get you a 24 with a big ass ratchet and get her off. Oh yeah, and then get them right about to the tip. Now, these do not unscrew, as I found out earlier. I was trying to unscrew them for a long time. That shit didn't work. You gotta actually hit this because this is a stud, just like your lug nuts. Hey, I'm gonna be making a little bit of noise for a second. It's just my bad. Hold on, before I do this, I forgot. Also, don't forget to disconnect your sway bar. <sighs> now the sway bar should be disconnected. There it goes. Yeah, one done. Wow, those are definitely the most effective hits and I'm now bleeding, that hurt. Sometimes you just gotta go through pain. <sighs> Drop her down, Captain. Okay, mm -hmm. holding it. Got it. Lovely. There we go. Old, nasty stock parts out the way. Time to wash my hands again. How you doing? No, I keep that wow, that's impressive. <laughs> Would you like to put this one back in too? Sure. Cool. Here, take it. Take these nuts. Take these nuts, sir. Hold on to these nuts for me. <laughs> the nut and the washer. Because okay. you got to wash your nuts. You got to bust the knuckle. Yep. Look at you go. Out here busting knuckles. Jack, send me some merch. This goes like this. Yeah. I believe. You're right. Oh, right. Of course I'm right. Yep. I, uh, I'm always right, right? Does it go like this? Do it go like that. That's right. That's good. Dope. Thank you, sir. Yeah, bro. All right. Now we can stick these back in and just tighten everything down. We're almost done. All right. Let's suck these boys down. Yeah. Wow. I sucked it down real good. That's right, Poppy. I love it when you call me Big Papa. No, it's okay. It's okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoops, it's okay. It's not, I'm not taking it off again for a while. Dude, camber plates are awesome. They are pretty cool. These are great. Okay, dog, it's time to put the brakes back on the car. Way too heavy. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Yeah. Well, this side is done. Um, I'm not gonna throw a wheel on because we gotta balance them tomorrow, but I can go ahead and start on the back corner. Probably get started on that tonight. First, we're gonna remove our parking brake cable. There is a 10 millimeter right here, and then also our ABS sensor line. So let's get this out. That bitch wasn't even tight. This is also the side that had the uh, the failing wheel bearing as well. So I'm very interested to see how it comes apart. All right, so we are about to get the caliper off. And there it is. Oh, let's get this rotor off. Come on. There it goes. Next up, shock mount. All right, 
Here we go. One shock. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, can you hear it? Oh, I can do that with my fingers. Yeah, you can feel the bearing. It's pretty bad. It's not supposed to do that. All right, let's get the rest of this stuff off. Very nice. Now this one. Oh yeah. Now this one. Oh, I can't get on this one that well. Damn. No, not that one. Can I get on the inside? I can get on the inside, maybe. All right, I gotta get the axle nut off. Here we go. Last bolt. Oh my goodness. Here we go, this one's coming off. Ah, oh, there it is. The hub. Ah, the hub. Damn. All right, let's go get this out. Put the new hub in. Oh, well, bam. Saw all the bolts. Old hub is out. Good God, these are so meaty. <laughs> Look at the studs. Bro, that shit's so long. Well, from this point forward, we can leave the axle in. Um, now we can probably just compress the spring and actually take it out. So we'll just pick up here tomorrow. So I guess I'll just see you guys then. All right, let's get this spring compressor on. There it goes. Very nice. <laughs> let's undo this death trap. Oh yeah. Wow. These springs are significantly heavier than the stock ones. All right, compressing the spring, boy. I don't know how far this one's gonna need to be compressed, but probably a lot. Wow, that shit is stiff. All right, got those in. Now we can lift the car back up, put a trans jack under this and lift up the bucket to be able to connect the shock. But before we do anything with that, I'm gonna need to go ahead and disassemble this shock so we can put together the new one. So take this nut off. Gotta get the bracket off. Bop. Boom. We'll go ahead and put this in a vise and yank this shit off. Just like that. So this, we're just gonna have to, you know, pull it off. Boom. It's a little bit tougher to put on. And then after that, we're gonna need our sleeve. Like this. I think it is kind of ugly though that we put the stock sleeve or the stock dust cover back onto the aftermarket shock. There we go. That's the shock. So lesson learned, do the bottom first. Also double check which bolts are for the shock so you don't cross thread them. Oh, we can slip this up where we're gonna want it. So we'll stick these in. Yeah. Now we can grab our hub again, stick that in there, run that through. I'm also, I'm gonna need to go ahead and put the axle back in. I just remembered that. Should be in. So a little bit later and we got everything hooked up. It's all hand tight. So you saw me take it apart, put everything back exactly where it goes. We're going to throw the rotor on and the caliper in a second, get everything tightened down. And then we should be good to put the wheels on and do our first ground test fit. So hopefully this works out. Everything is installed. It's time to put the wheels on and put it on the ground. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They look, they look like some drifty boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like an RTR car. 
Yeah, it kind of does. Now, just imagine if it was an orange and white RTR car. That would Wouldn't that be sick? Awesome. Also, ARP studs are really long. Fun fact. Well, that one. Last steps right here. Shit. Final steps. Oh, Danny. Yeah. So close. We're so close, bro. So, so, so super duper. All right, let's lower this bitch. All right, bet. It's going down. I'm yelling, I'm yelling timber. You better dance. Oh, shit. All right, let this bitch down. All right. Let's go. This is the real moment of truth, Darnell. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude, that truck is so f***ing loud! That is the brightest shit ever. Yeah, I gotta wear these for sure. Look at that. Yeah, that is pretty fucking bright. Bro, sitting in this car, like just going from outside to sitting in it, mm -hmm. the car doesn't bounce anymore. It's like you're sitting on a brick. Wow, I feel everything in the road and I don't have a check engine light on. Not check <laughs> engine light on, it's, it's a service advanced track light. Bro, this thing actually rides really smooth. That's freaking sick. Like it feels good. Oh my god. Damn. Damn. It definitely it needs a sway bar. Wow. I have it I have a GT350 sway bar that I plan on putting on, so that'll help, but dude, the how much stiffer it is as far as like feedback from the road is Kind of impressive. It feels like it wants to take turns. Yeah, it definitely does feel like it wants to take turns. It's a noticeable difference at least. I can't wait to get a little bit of speed going and then we can see how it is. We have pulled up to Brown's radiator and alignment. I know that. I know, dude. Honestly, way more stance than like I would have ever expected myself to own. Ooh, I haven't had just ours. I've never gotten to hear the car from the outside. Wow, that's really tasteful. That's not near as loud as I thought it was. Bro, that thing sits great. That is an, I, I don't I don't know. I've just never truly seen an S550 quite like that. So kudos, that was the goal. kudos to you on that one. Thanks, man. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. I don't want to do much test driving because honestly, the install took a little bit longer than expected, but the new height of the car is fantastic. It rides quite a bit better now. It's a lot more predictable going through turns and it's not so bouncy, surprisingly. On the factory suspension, whenever you're going on the interstate and you hit bumps, the whole car bounces up and down. But now, it's just a very swift bump and then the car sits into the ground again. It's very strange compared to what the factory suspension is, but it handles so much better. So, so once again, huge thanks to Parker Performance for sending over the Steeda Pro Action Shocks and Springs. Also for the Ford Performance hubs that we have in the back. And also the Barton Short Throw Shifter that they sent to me in last video. If you haven't seen that, click up above right here. Go check it out. So far, Parker Performance has been a huge part of this build. So guys, help me go follow their YouTube channel. They are actually starting to upload videos, doing stuff with their own cars that they've had to start their shop with. And it's pretty cool watching the process of it. So go subscribe to their channel right now, right whenever you get off of this video. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace. And I'll see you in the next one.